Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing a unboxing today and the unboxing that we are doing today is something that I was honestly not expecting to do. I had no intentions of buying one of these but I was you know late night scrolling and saw that these were still in stock and decided to uh, grab one. If you have no idea what I'm talking about today we are going to be unboxing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Summer mystery box unboxing so these come out you know every season you know they do winter fall summer and basically they are big boxes full of products from jeffree star cosmetics in there. and this has about 360 dollars worth of product in here and i got it for i think after taxes and everything it was about 190 i did get free shipping because you know it was astronomically expensive and i am not really someone who's like that big on mystery boxes just because like if you really think about it mystery boxes are just filled with stuff that are going to be expiring soon and they basically just throw it in a box and try to sell it for a bargain price so they don't have to waste it so that's basically what mystery boxes are i've had a few hits and misses in the past with the jeffree star cosmetics mystery boxes i think the best one i ever did was the halloween mystery box that i did a couple years ago and then i did like a winter one and i really wasn't that impressed with this one and here we are again we are going to see what is inside the summer supreme mystery box this is i was actually kind of surprised because if you look at this box you know it's not it's not that big okay it's kind of small and when this arrived at my door i had to like do a double check on my email to make sure that i got the right one because this seems like a very small box i the only thing that i do know we're gonna get in here is a star ranch palette there's like a new palette that was in every single one of the mystery boxes so i'm very curious to see that other than that i have no idea what we're going to get so if you guys want to see what is inside the jeffree star cosmetics summer mystery supreme box whatever then let's just jump into it but before we you know use my box cutter on this box we do have a sponsor for today's video the sponsor of today's video is of course the lovely company known as dossier perfumes have you guys heard of them oh you haven't oh, well let me tell you about it so if you guys do not know who Dossier is, they are an online perfume company that has scents that are inspired by the real thing. So if you are really looking into the Le Labo scent and you're like, holy shit, $200 a bottle, that is not for me, have no fear. That is where Dossier comes into play and they make luxury inspired scents at a more than fair price. They make scents that smell exactly like the real thing, but they only range from $29 to $39, which is such a deal. And honestly, you guys, I I've been working with Dossier for quite a long time now and when I tell you they know what they're doing, they know what they're doing. All of their scents smell so incredibly like the real thing it's not even funny and they were kind enough to sponsor me again for today's video. So when you order off of Dossier you get these adorable little boxes right here and when you open it up you get a little tiny card right on the top that tells you all about the scent that you got, the notes that are in it, the concentration. They also send you a little tiny sample inside the box as well and if you guys don't know how the sample works basically you get a full 50 milliliter bottle of the scent and you also get a little tiny sample so the first thing that you do is you open up your box and you take this little sample and you try it out you test it out if you like it sweet awesome you can go ahead and start using a full 50 milliliter bottle but if you try the sample and you're like and eh, this scent really isn't for me you return everything in the little box and you get your monies back no questions asked so the scent that I got for the month of August is oriental oak moss and this is inspired by Chanel yes a Chanel perfume they have so many different like high-end inspired scents ranging from Tom Ford Chanel Gucci Versace anything you can think of they have it on there for you so this one is inspired by the Chanel perfume the Coco Mademoiselle perfume this has a 15% concentrate and it has notes of bergamot orange peach jasmine rose patchouli oak moss vanilla okay, so let's give this a little Ooh. Oh my gosh, this smells so freaking good. Oh my god, I love this. This smells very, very sexy, very sophisticated. I can definitely smell the orange and the peach in this. So it's definitely something like I've never tried before, but... 
Mm, yes. Mm, all over me. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This has a very like springy summertime like floral fruity scent to it. I really, really dig it. This smells absolutely amazing. I literally have so many bottles from Dossier perfumes and they are literally all that I wear. I don't even bother spending money on the real thing anymore. I literally just go on their website and find something that I like. And so if you guys are interested in trying Dossier out for yourself, I will have a link right at the top of the description box so you guys can easily click, check them out and find your new favorite designer inspired scent. Again, thank you so, so much to dossier for sponsoring this video and helping to support my channel i appreciate you guys and thank you for making me smell good literally all the time without it to dossier and make sure you go and check them out in the description box below okay guys so let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing i am super curious to see what we're gonna get inside so i'm just gonna take my little box cutter here i'm gonna stand up for this because it's kind of tall So right when I open up the box, here is what we are looking like right on the inside, right on top. And it looks like we have a another box, a box inside of a box. So I'm guessing this is going to be a mirror, possibly, which, you know, is very exciting. So we're going to take that bad lad out. And underneath that, it looks like we have some red tissue paper with some more goodies underneath. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Okay, okay. So... First things first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move everything out of the way. Oh my gosh, I do not have enough space for this. I am really curious to see what this mirror is going to look like. I'm assuming it's a mirror because a lot of Jeffree Star's mirrors do in fact come in these boxes. So, oh my gosh, let's, let's open it up. I don't think I have this mirror so so far we're off to a really good start because when you are a Jeffree Star cosmetics collector, like myself, uh, you pretty much have everything already that you get sent. So the fact that I'm already getting an item that I know I don't have is very exciting to me. So I'm just going to open it up and I will give you guys the first look. So the first thing that we got in the summer mystery box is... Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, okay, so it looks like we have the pinksicle mirror which is very very summery so this is supposed to be like a popsicle type mirror right here so here is what this guy looks like really really cute um oh it's actually a really good quality mirror i only have his star shaped mirrors i don't have any of like the popsicle looking one so this one's actually really cute it really does look like a popsicle and it has like the brown handle for like the popsicle stick and stuff so this is this is really cool i do like this i'm so used to the star shape i do know that these mirrors range for like 25 dollars on his website which is freaking crazy for a mirror so i think this is a really good product to get in a mystery box i will say that for sure this is my eighth jeffree star cosmetics mirror i have eight of them now Okay, moving on, I'm just going to remove the tissue paper on the top here. And the next thing, oh my gosh, we have so much stuff in here, you guys. The next thing I'm going to take out of here is this guy right here. And I have no idea what this is. Is this a Z palette? Okay, so I think the next thing we got in here, and I'm actually really excited about it, I'm pretty sure this is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Z Palette. If you guys don't know what a Z Palette is, basically it is like this little empty palette right here, and this is a magnetic base, and you can basically take like loose eyeshadows, and you can put them in the Z Palette, and you can kind of just make your own little palette with a bunch of different colors. So this is actually really cool. I will, this will definitely come in handy, especially because I see some loose eyeshadows in here what oh my god holy shit okay so it looks like we have three loose eyeshadows in here and these look so freaking beautiful first one that we got is bite me that is the first loose eyeshadow and I do know that he recently came out with his loose eyeshadows Ooh! oh my god this is gorgeous so here is what the first loose eyeshadow looks like this one is called bite me it's a really pretty like sparkly purple color and instead of keeping them in this little plastic packaging you basically open up the z palette right here and you take out the little eyeshadow and you boop 
right in there just like that oh my god how cute the next loose eyeshadow that we got this one is in the shade blood sugar Ooh. okay so i'm pretty sure this is a shade that is already in his blood sugar palette i could be wrong I'm just gonna pop that in the z palette as well this next one i am freaking excited for this one i actually have the uh skin frost in this shade and i absolutely love it so the fact that we have it in a little tiny eyeshadow now is so exciting and this one is called mint condition and seriously like look at the top of this eyeshadow like it looks like a little credit card oh my god that is so freaking cute and it's like a nice like pastel green color really pretty definitely right up my alley because you guys know i love me some green eyeshadow green there we go you guys here are all of the colors inside of the z palette so we have bite me blood sugar and then mint condition really really cute and i also have let me grab it. Also have this little guy right here. This is the green from the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collab. This is the shade Put It Back. This was going to be in the original Shane Dawson palette, but then they decided not to and everyone wanted it. So they decided to come out with it in a single. So I'm actually going to pop this one out and put this one in the Z palette as well. That way it's just not like floating around in my makeup collection somewhere. Oh my god, look at you guys. We have four eyeshadows in our little Z palette now. This is so cool. So satisfying. I absolutely love the concept of this. And I am so glad, so glad they included both loose eyeshadows and the Z palette in this box. Because the next thing that we got in here is a Velour Lip Scrub. And this is actually perfect timing because I have used up pretty much all of my lip scrubs at this point so I actually needed a new one I love his lip scrubs they work so good as like a body exfoliant a lip exfoliant a face exfoliant these are just these are great so this lip scrub that we got here is what the packaging of this one looks like and this is in candy necklace eh, I'm a little iffy about that one. Ooh, it actually Wow, okay, this actually smells a lot better than I thought it would. Mmm. I really like this one. It smells like candy, but it's not so overwhelmingly like candy, like those typical candy necklaces are. So this one is really good. I've never had this one before. Oh my god, and it smells so freaking good. So this is going to go right in my shower. My, like, form of anxiety is, you know, I don't bite my fingers or anything. I bite my lips. So I will literally, when I'm feeling anxious, I will bite my lips to the point where they bleed everywhere. And uh, these lip scrubs definitely come in handy for sure. So far, you guys, everything that we've gotten in this mystery box are things that I have never had before. The mirror, the Z palette, the singles. That, that flavor of lip scrub. So far we're off to a really good start. You here is everything that we have left in here. The next thing I'm gonna take out is this. And I am really excited about this, you guys, because I have never owned one of these before. And that is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Extreme Frost. When these came out, I really wanted to try one, but I just couldn't justify the price of them. Um, so I never ended up getting one, and I have so many freaking highlighters. I was just like, I'm just going to skip out on this one for now. Like, I don't need it. It's fine. But we actually got one in this mystery box, and I'm very excited. First of all, first of all, can we talk about this packaging right here? I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that, but it is this beautiful, like, faux leather packaging, and it has the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo right here. And this is, like, this is a fucking box, dude. Like... This is a box that an engagement ring would come in. Like, I'm definitely going to be keeping this box. I can see why they cost so much now. And when you open it up, here is what we have inside. So we have my very first ever Extreme Frost Highlighter. I do have two of these, and these are the Supreme Frost. I have Caramel Kiss and Diamond Wet, which I do really, really like them. But this one is an Extreme Frost. So this one is going to be like wham bam thank you ma'am right in your face right here and oh my gosh this is the most luxurious packaging i've ever seen for a highlighter like hello this one oh my gosh okay this is the one i actually really really liked when i watched his reveal video on these and this is the extreme frost lick my glit 
<laughs> he seriously comes up with the best names. I don't care who you are. Like, the guy is a freaking genius. And there is an up-close view of this extreme frost. Holy shite. I'm actually going to use my finger. Oh my gosh, this literally feels like freaking crushed diamonds. Do you guys see that? Holy shit. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my gosh. What the frick? Holy. Okay, like these are bright as shit. Look at that. What? Let's go ahead and move on. Oh, I am seeing one repeat product in here. Ah, oh no. Okay, so let's just get the repeat product out of the way. Now you guys know I am a Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow whore. Capital W, all caps, bold, italicized. I love his eyeshadows, okay? There is no other brand, company, person in the entire world that does eyeshadows like Jeffree Star. Love him, hate him, I don't care. The man knows eyeshadow formula. So every time he comes out with a new palette, I get my hands on it. I have every single one of his palettes that he has ever come out with. So whenever we get a palette in a mystery box, there is a good like 99.999% chance that I already have it. And this one, I already have. So the palette that we got in this mystery box is the Blood Money palette. And this is the one that I already own. So now we have two of them. I probably will find somebody who wants it. I'll probably message my piercer because I know she likes Jeffree Star eyeshadows as well so I'll probably message her and see if she wants this one let's go ahead and move on so okay so we have one two three four we have six more products in here so I'm going to take out some of these little guys right here so the first thing that we got is a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Supreme Gloss and this is in a shade that I already have um so I'll probably give this one to my sister but this is the um, Supreme Gloss in Blow My Candles. I'm pretty sure I do have this one already. I do. So this is the Blow My Candles lip gloss that I actually use quite a bit. I really do like this color. It's really, really great. Um, so we do have a second one of this one. So I'm going to set this one off to the side as well to see if my sister wants it. Ooh, the next thing that we got in here is, I believe, we have a Velour Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Leo. And Leo is one of my all-time favorite Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I It makes my eyes pop. Leo is hands down like one of my favorites to wear as far as liquid lips go. So now we have a matching lip liner. But my question about this is, is this the new formula or is this the old formula? Because the very first formula he came out with for these lip liners, it honestly wasn't very good. I never used them on my lips. I only ever use them as eyeliners now because they're just way too damn drying. So I'm wondering, is this the new formula or the old formula? Only way I will know is just to try this out on my lips, but nonetheless, I'm very, very excited about this color because it, I just, I fucking love Leo, the liquid lip and having a matching lip liner. Yes, bitch. It, next, it looks like we have another The Gloss by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have no idea. Ooh, this one I don't have. Okay, so this is really exciting. I love his lip glosses. They are amazing. So we have the regular gloss. We have the Supreme Gloss. You really, you just, you have to know Jeffree Star's products to know what the hell you're getting. Ooh, okay, you guys. So this is the next lip gloss that we got. And I'm pretty sure this is from the uh, Cremated launch, which I absolutely love that palette. Dude, when he came out with that palette and I saw what it looked like for the first time, I literally felt my soul leave my body and go to heaven because I was so excited about it. And I didn't pick up any of the lip glosses. So the fact that we got one in this mystery box makes me really freaking excited so this one is called heaven's gate and this one there are two finishes either the glitter fantasy and extreme shine wow look at that Ooh, that is like super glittery and shiny oh my gosh this is going to look stunning this is going to go boop, right there with all of my other lip glosses so i okay um the next thing we have in here 
Interesting. So this looks to be another Velour Liquid Lipstick, and I'm really excited because you guys know how much I love his Velour Liquid Lipsticks. They are some of the best. But this one, I don't think we've ever had before. So when you go up close to it, it looks like we have a a bull or some sort of Wyoming animal. I don't a bison maybe i don't know but that's all it says about the shade name okay so i have no idea what this is going to look like oh okay so this is very interesting looking wow okay and it doesn't it literally doesn't say anything about like the shade name or anything but it's a velour liquid lipstick so i already know i'm gonna like it i love his liquid lipstick formula it is incredibly comfortable i'm wearing one today the one the shade that i'm wearing today is called candy joint so let's go ahead and swatch this guy interesting here's a better swatch of what it looks like this one i don't even know how to describe it it's like a like a watermelony, corally, brown, pink sort of color. It's very, very interesting. I definitely do not own anything like this. I do not own this color already. That I am aware of. I'm like looking around, scanning really quick. I don't see it, so this must be new. Um, I don't I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I'll definitely wear it and give it a try. And I feel much better about that one because if you guys remember the holiday mystery box that I did. We got this shade right here, this like really bright metallic red. And yeah, this this like mystery one that we got in the holiday one with the little stocking, if you guys remember that, it's literally an exact duplicate of Poinsettia from one of his holiday releases. So that honestly kind of pissed me off when we got that one, but this one looks to be a brand new lipstick that I have never tried before or that I don't already own. So next thing that we got in here, it looks like we actually got a shirt. I don't own any Jeffree Star shirts. Ooh, okay, so this is actually really cool. It looks like we have a Jeffree Star Cosmetics little like cutoff moment right here and it, it literally cuts off all the way down to here. So this would be like, a good like swimsuit cover up maybe or something like that and it's like this really pretty purple pink like tie-dye moment right here this is really cute really appropriate for summer um let's go ahead and put it on why not let's let's see what we look like okay so here is what the shirt looks like on if i can show you guys without tripping myself you can see it literally cuts off all the way down here so definitely you want to wear something underneath this i mean unless you want to have like a nice little like side boob moment i mean it's cute is it something i would have like picked out and bought myself probably not but i mean i got it in the mystery box so I'll rock it. And it looks like we only have one product left in here. The very last product that we got in here is the one that I talked to you guys about in the beginning. And I'm pretty sure this is the Star Ranch palette. And I'm really excited about this. I, ooh, oh bitch. Okay, so the outer packaging is like, wow, this feels interesting. So it almost feels like wood or something. It's like, feels very very weird you guys I don't know this I mean it feels cool but like wow I was not expecting that so this is the star ranch eyeshadow palette and this was only exclusive in the summer mystery boxes oh I got really excited for a second I thought I saw like a pink ticket I was like what oh yes this palette was only exclusive to the mystery boxes so if you got our mystery box every person got a star ranch palette and this one is kind of like, you know, an homage to his new step in life of him selling his house in LA and moving out to Wyoming and having a ranch and all that stuff. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of a cute idea. I'm not really like a huge country person, so I'm just kind of like, eh, you know, whatever. Like, but I mean, do you? And I've heard a lot of mixed things about this palette. Like, a lot of people really, really liked it, and a lot of people really, really hated the concept. Like, I saw a few memes where people were comparing these colors to, like, 2006 middle school fashion, which, like, okay, the memes were funny. They were definitely, like, I totally see it. But I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what it's going to look like in person. So Let's take the palette out. Wow. Okay.
Okay, so here's the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Star Ranch Palette out of the box. I definitely prefer the outer component to the actual palette. I just think it looks, I don't know, this just looks a little bit kind of, meh, I don't know. It's, it's not really striking. Like if I saw this in the store, I would probably just walk right by it, honestly. Um, but we have the little Star Ranch right here. We have a pink horse and a pink bison bowl. I don't know. Um, pink wood with the little gold Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo at the top there. On the back, we have some blue skies and clouds, which I guess is pretty cute, I guess. I don't know. And let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here is what the Star Ranch palette looks like on the inside. So now that I'm seeing it in person, I will say I like it a lot better. Um, some of the pictures I was seeing and some of the photos that people were posting of this palette, I really wasn't that crazy about it, but now that I'm seeing it in person, I definitely, I really, really like it. I think it is very appropriate. Oh, I scraped one. Cool. The gas fucking duck nails. I love the top of it. Oh shit! Oh no, you guys! No! No! Anyways, what I was saying is I really like the top of it, how it has like the two pink guns. It has like a very western feel to it. Um, the shades that I'm really, really drawn to is definitely Yak Farm right here, this kind of like neutral color. I also really like this one down here, which is Old Jeff, and Wyoming is really pretty, so is Owl Eyes, Winter Wind down here, that is really gorgeous. Oh, you guys wanna see a look of me like trying this palette? Yes, no, maybe? Okay, you guys, and that is everything that we got in the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Summer Mystery Box. I think, I think, that this one was pretty damn good. Out of everything that we got, we only got two repeats, which was the Blood Money Palette and a Supreme Gloss. Other than that, everything that we got is new stuff I've never tried before. And looking at everything and kind of just running through the prices in my head, I would, uh, I guess I would say it was worth it. $190 for all of this stuff. I do know that the Extreme Frost, I do know that those are very, very pricey. Hang on, I'm trying to cut, I'm trying to close my box cutter without chopping my hand off. I do know that the mirrors are around $25. I'm sure this palette probably would have been like $28 to $36. Uh, the liquid lips are $18. The lip scrubs are 12, the lip liners are 18, the glosses are 18. Uh, the singles, I'm not sure how much, and I'm not sure the Z palette. Uh, the Blood Money palette, I'm pretty sure that was 54, and the Supreme glosses are 20. So in the shirt, that was probably 25 to 35, I'm not really sure. So yeah, I would say we got our money's worth. Two thumbs up for me. I am pretty damn happy. You guys will have to sound off in the comments down below. Let me know, did you guys get any of the mystery boxes? What size did you get? What did you get in your box? Were you happy with it? Were you unhappy with it? What are your thoughts? Like, what are your personal thoughts on these mystery boxes? I would love to know. I'm hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go down and give it a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days here. But as the rest of you, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean up and organize and go play with some makeup. I'm really, really excited. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye!